All right, so once again, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Welcome. Super nice to have everyone, and uh, we're going to start with some singing. So let's, uh, let's get going here. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat 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 Shalom. Bim bam, bim 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 bam, bim 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 bam, bim. Bim 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 ba. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom, Shabbat 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 shalom. He name atovu manai. Shabbatachim gam yachad Hinei matovu manayim Shabbatachim gam yachad Hinei matovu manayim Shabbatachim gam yachad Hinei matovu manayim Shabbatachim gam yachad Shabbatachim gam yachad Hine matovu manayim Shabbatachim gam yachad All right, so uh, once again, Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Uh, we're having just a little bit of an issue with... Uh, the link tonight, so I want to make sure everybody is on and, uh, and, and getting on here. So, okay, thank you for that. Um, if you know of anybody that's having an issue, I'm going to put the link in the uh, chat box so that you can email it or, or send it to somebody. Okay, so we have a treat tonight. Let's see, Barry... Rosenholtz is going to uh, light candles for us. Okay. Source of mercy, continue your loving care for us and our loved ones. Give us strength to walk in your presence on the paths of the righteous. Loyal to your Torah, steadfast in goodness. Keep far from us all shame, grief, and anguish. Fill our homes with peace, light, and joy. O oh God, fountain of life, by your light do we see light. Do I like now or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Baruch Hashadonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedesh Ani Mitzvatavus Ivanu Lahadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Blessed is our God, Sovereign of the Universe, who hallows us mitzvot and commands us to kindle the lights of Shabbat. May God bless us with Shabbat joy. May God bless us with Shabbat holiness. May God bless us with Shabbat peace. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech ha'olam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu, Lechad likner, Lechad likner, Shel Shabbat. Amen. And Hugh is going to lead us in Kiddush. Remember to unmute yourself, Hugh. There we go. I'm unmuted. The heaven and the earth were finished in all their, in all their array. 
On the seventh day, God finished the work that God had been, been doing, and God ceased on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because on it, God ceased from all the work creation that God had done. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech halom, orei priyagofen, amen. Blessed art thou, O God, sovereign of the universe, who created the fruit of the vine. Amen. Amen. L'chaim. 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 Very nice. I just want to welcome Linda and Ethan and Peggy. Welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to have you. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure I get everybody here. All right. I think I have. So let's all join together. It's proven that if we wear our masks, we can reduce the cases of coronavirus. Uh, let's all join together with, with this blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishanu B'mitzvotav B'tzivanu Al Shmirat HaNefesh And let's read together. Blessed are you, eternal our God, sovereign of the world, who has sanctified us with commandments and commanded us to protect life. And we all say, Amen. Tonight, we are going to look at the 12 steps of recovery and see how they can really uh, help anyone, really, who may not have necessarily an addiction or uh, is an alcoholic or anything like that, but maybe just uh, wants a blueprint for living. You know, and this is something that the steps can give us, and I hope that we'll learn a little bit as we go through tonight, and that we'll be able to leave this service knowing a little bit more about the 12 steps than we knew when we started. This is a song that I wrote back in 1988. Uh, it was a direct result, and I don't mind sharing with you that I, I'm in recovery uh, 33 years, and uh, very, very happy to be in recovery. And this was one of those songs that I wrote early on. When I'm alone Inside my mind I say that I am behind enemy lines Need what I get, get what I need. Don't want to be a prisoner of my greed. Then I just walk into the light. You know it's your choice to get out from under. Walk into the light. I know that there's times that you're feeling real low. So walk into the light. Even in darkness your soul can shine If you walk into the light we'll Just keep on keeping on Gotta have faith Even when I don't Cause that's what's gonna keep my ship afloat Life takes turns I steer with all my might Don't you know I'm fighting a one-sided fight Well then I just walk into the light You know it's your choice to get out from under Walk into the light I know it's that you're feeling real low So walk into the light Even in darkness your soul can shine if you Walk into the light, we'll just keep on, keep it on. No need anticipate, roll with the punches, go with the flow. No need to worry, everything's all right. It's in the hands of someone who knows. So just sit back, enjoy the ride. Now don't let life pass you by. No need telling the future, dwell in the past. Just enjoy the present time and walk into the light. Walk into the light. Walk in. 
to the light. Walk into the light. We'll just keep on keeping on. Keep on walking. Let's continue now with the Chatzit Kaddish. Melissa, would you like to lead us? Thank you. Amen. Yehesh me rabba me barach. Me alam o me ahamaya. Yisparach. Yisparach ve yishtabach. Yispar ve yisramam ve yisnaseh. Ve yisadar ve yisalev. Ve yisalav. Shemei dekudet shabrichu. Leila min kol derech asav e Tush becha savanach emasa, dami ran biyama, v'yamaru, amen. Thank you. It is no coincidence that the Bible's first recorded incident of human behavior involves succumbing to temptation. The message is universal. It suggests that this is the basic moral challenge that confronts us, the dilemma between doing whatever we want and what is right, between impulse and restraint, between conscience and conceit, between our higher power and our lower one. We were all fashioned in the image of God, regardless of what we have done before. Each and every one of us carries a spark of the divine deeply embedded in our souls. We too have the power to create new worlds. All we have to do is to start now. Don't worry about tomorrow's trouble, for you do not know what the day may bring. Tomorrow may come and you will be no more, and so you will have worried about a world that is not yours. We'll continue with our call to worship. And I hope you enjoy this melody. It's written by Chava Morel, who is a very, very big in the Jewish uh, music world right now. You'll catch on super, super fast. And uh, please, please sing, sing with me. Come all of you, come all of us. And bless the one who blesses. Come, come all of you, come all of us, and bless the one who blesses. Blessed is the blessed one, blessed is the giver of blessing, blessed is this moment now and every moment. Blessed is the blessed one, Blessed is the giver of blessing. Blessed is this moment now and every now to come. Come all of you. Come all of us. And bless the one who blesses. Come. Come all of you. Come all of us. And bless.
love us and bless the one who blesses. May I have a reader here, please? I can. Thank you, Ethan. All right. Strive to do the will of God with a perfect heart and a willing soul. Put aside your will, even if the will of God seems like a burden for you. Simcha ben Samuel of Vitry was a French Talmudist. Each day, God gives us the potential to begin again as if reborn. As a reminder, we are thus prepared to start each day with Mode ani lifa necha melechai bechayam bechayam shechatsar binishmati ucheda raba emunatecha. Excellent, Ethan. Thank you so much. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, whose word brings on the evening, whose wisdom opens heaven's gates and whose understanding changes the times and seasons and orders the stars in their heavenly constellations according to divine will. God creates day and night, rolling away light in the face of darkness and darkness in the face of light, causing the day to pass and bringing on the night, separating day and night. God's name is the host of heaven, the living and eternal God, ruler over all over us for all time. El chai v'kayam tamidim lo cholenu le'olam va'ed baruch ata Adonai hama'ariv aravim. We're going to continue with our Shema and just like us to take a few deep breaths. We've done some preliminary praying, some singing, and now we come to this moment where we're able to proclaim, not for God's needs, but for our needs. Who is the one God? Not the little gods that we worship every day throughout our day, the things that grab our attention, the things that we think are so important, but the God who is our true God. Let's all join together. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malchuto Leolam Avad. And I'd like a reader here, please. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Via Hafta, a modern reading. Love God with your mind. Stay curious, open to questions. Marvel at the wonder for what is. Love God with your heart. Stay alive to suffering and joy. Yearn for the world that could be. Love God with your strength. Open your hands and give. Work for the sake of what ought to be. We lost your sound, Steph. Can't hear you. Let's see here. Can you hear me now? Yes. 
Okay, I ran out of batteries, so <laughs> sorry. Let's um, let's continue. Linda uh, Regal, help. Would you like to read? I'd be happy to. Thank you. Filat Haderach. May it be your will, Adonai, my God and God of my ancestors, to lead me, to direct my steps, and to support me in peace. Lead me in life, tranquil and serene, until I arrive at where I am going. Deliver me from every enemy, ambush and hurt that I might encounter on the way, and from all afflictions that visit and trouble the world. Bless the work of my hands. Let me receive divine grace and those loving acts of kindness and mercy in your eyes and in the eyes of all those I encounter. Listen to the voice of my appeal, for you are a God who responds to prayerful supplication. Praised are you, Adonai, who responds to prayer. Amen. Thank you so much. And you know, that, that one part that really stuck out to me tonight is let me receive divine grace and those loving acts of kindness and mercy in your eyes and in the eyes of all those I encounter. Imagine. Imagine if we could see divine grace and God's presence in every person we encounter. That's something to think about and ponder, especially on the Shabbat. Mi madunai mi kamocha ne dar bakodesh no rate hilot o se fele Steps of Alcoholics Anonymous. One, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Three, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood Him. Four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Five, Admitted to God, to ourselves, and to another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Six, we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Seven, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. Eight, 
made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Nine, made direct amends to such people wherever possible, except when to do so would injure them or others. Eleven, sought in ten, continued to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Eleven, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for the knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. Twelve, having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. I'm not sure if everybody here has actually heard the 12 steps before, perhaps and perhaps not. But what I find remarkable is that they're incredibly Jewish. If you read, uh, and we'll, d we'll delve into this a little bit more later, but the whole idea of admitting when we have, uh, ha uh, when we faulted, and then going to uh, do an inventory like a Heshbon Hanefesh, which we just did in the month of Elul, prior to the high holidays, and of course going to the people that we have harmed and asking forgiveness. And it's only after that that we get to step 10, where we, uh, well, we continue to take the personal inventory, and step 11, where we go to God, and we listen to God, and we uh, get the power to carry out God's will. Very, very Jewish. I'm not sure everybody was so aware. Sometimes Alcoholics Anonymous, mistaken for a Christian program. Not so. So uh, let's go on here. Oh, okay. There we go. Give me one second here. Even in darkness, I must remember to search for the light. Fear is knocking at my door. Faith answers and nothing is there. Leave me not to the ones who seek to oppress my faith. Let your light shine upon this soul, bathing me in grace. God will lift up every valley, level every hill. The rough places will be made smooth, and all of God's glory shall challenge, chance to remember, to practice all we hold so true. I can think my way into good actions. I must act my way into faith. Don't let my spirit fall to the dark of days. Let your presence lift me up and give me strength. God will lift up every valley, level every hill, the rough places will be please. I'll read. Thank you.
There's nothing on the screen for me to read. <laughs> oh, uh, are you on side by side view, Michael? Mm, you're on the main screen, Mom, on the bottom. You want me to go on the main screen? Yeah, yeah. Click uh, above. Maybe that'll help you. Okay. I just see me. That's all. All right. See if you can play around with it, and I'll get you on the next one. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Who else would like to read? I can read. Thank you. Prior to the high holidays, we take inventory and make amends. But once a year is not enough. The goal is to be able to step back from everything we do and look at ourselves objectively. Few among us can really do that. We find it helpful to develop a regular routine for taking our personal inventory. Set aside time each day and each week to review what you have done and what you have said. We call these Sabbath moments. Time to pause, reflect, and gain strength to move forward in recovery. But don't wait for Shabbat to make amends for when you have erred and temporarily have lost your footing. As soon as you realize that you are wrong, admit it. Stop everything. Step back and look at yourself objectively. Uh, Basha E. Pakuda taught that days are scrolls. Write on them what you want remembered. Excellent. Days are scrolls. Write on them what you want remembered. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, maybe people here are s familiar with the serenity prayer. It's uh, a very, very powerful prayer. And you'll hear this melody that I composed years ago to it. And just uh, ponder and meditate on the words. Oh God, grant me going to continue with our tefillah prayer where we have the opportunity to go into some communion with the God of our understanding, which we talk about so many times. It is uh, also part of the 12 steps where we hear the words, God as you understand God. And I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it again, that all of the matriarchs and patriarchs and all of the people in our whole entire Tanakh have had specific and individual relationships with their God. So each of us has that opportunity to create a relationship that works for us. That kind of relationship can span a spectrum of ideas and concepts. It's just that we try to hone in on that understanding and we keep trying our whole entire life. Someone once said to me, we need to seek God. If you ever run into someone who says they have found God, run very fast. You are blessed and you are holy. You are blessed and you are praised. You are blessed and you are faithful to the ones who praise your name. You are kind and you are healing. You are cleansing of my soul. You are loved and pure and gracious. You are real and made. Adonai Svat 
מתי תפתח ופי יגיד תהילתך Open my lips for your praises They'll show through your graces Open up my lips Open up my lips You are wise and you are sparing You are merciful and clear You are right of perfection No more than wrong direction I'm loved And I am here Adonai Sfatai Tiftach Ufi Agit Tehilatecha Open my lips for your praises They'll show through your graces Open up my lips Open up my lips Open up my lips Ethan, would you like to lead us in the Avot, Vimahot? Sure. Thank you. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu, Velohe Avotinu, Vimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sara, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Belohe Leha, Hahel Hagado, Hagi Borba Hanora, El 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 Yon, Gomel Hasadin Tovim, Bekone Hako, Bezoher Has de Avot Vimaot, Ume Vigo Leli Nevenehem, Leman Shemo Bea Ava, Melech Ose Umashiach Magain, Barrochan Ta Adonai. Magin Abraham, there's Ratsara. The promises of adult children of alcoholics and dysfunctional families, also known as ACA. One, we will discover our real identities by loving and accepting ourselves. Two, our self esteem will increase as we give ourselves approval on a daily basis. Three, fear of authority figures and the need to people please will leave us. Four, our ability to share intimacy will grow inside of us. Five, as we face our abandonment issues, we will be attracted by strengths and become more tolerant of weaknesses. Six, we will enjoy feeling stable, peaceful, and financially secure. Seven, we will learn how to play and have fun in our lives. Eight, we will choose to love people who can love and be responsible for themselves. Nine, healthy boundaries and limits will be easier for us to set. Ten, fears of failure and success will leave us as we intuitively make healthier choices. Eleven, with the help from our ACA support group, we will slowly release our dysfunctional behaviors. Twelve, gradually, with our higher powers help, We will learn to expect the best and get it. We are uh, going to actually, let's read here. No, 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 go on. I'm sorry, Melissa. Uh, Michael, do you have the screen now? I do. May, may I have you read, please? Yes. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Thank you so much. Those are very, very strong and powerful words. Those who struggle, suffer, hurt, despair, hunger, that all may find promise and fulfillment, rest and renewal, hearts filled with joy on this Sabbath day. Those are gifts that I don't think any of us take for granted. 
the ability to stop what we're doing, the ability to be together like we are now in this very, very intimate setting. Even though we're on Zoom, it feels as though I'm with you and you are with me. So let's take the next few moments thanking God for the blessings that we've received, thinking about the week that has passed, and perhaps there are little, little things that pop up that you say, oh yeah, maybe that wasn't a coincidence. Maybe that was God's hand working in my life. Let's continue now in silence. I had Harvey in my mind while you were singing. So nice. All right, so if we can go to gallery view here, and we'll just spend a couple minutes talking. It's so nice to see everybody. Hope everyone can see uh, each other. Hope you can see each other and the Brady Bunch, everybody around us. Super nice. Great. Um, and uh, what I wanted to talk about tonight was uh, I was going to focus on the promises of AA. And if you've never heard them, I'm, I'm going to read them for you, okay? I have them right here. Uh, let's see here. So if we are painstaking about this phase of our development, we will be amazed before we are halfway through. Now, the promises in AA come right after step nine, which is made direct amends to such people wherever possible except to do so would injure them or others. So these, these promises come right after that work. We're going to know a new freedom and a new happiness. We will not regress, regret the past, nor wish to shut the door on it. We will comprehend the word serenity, and we will know peace. No matter how far down the scale we have gone, we will see how our experience can benefit others. That feeling of uselessness and self-pity will disappear. We will lose interest in selfish things and gain interest in our fellows. Self-seeking will slip away. Our whole attitude and outlook upon life will change. Fear of people and of economic insecurity will leave us. We will intuitively know how to handle situations which used to baffle us. We will suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. Are these extravagant promises? We think not. They are being fulfilled among us, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly. They will always materialize if we work for them. And 
the way I wanted to talk about it tonight with you is that regardless of uh, the fact that some of us uh, may not uh, experience any kind of addiction to anything, uh, others of us have sort of uh, thoughts that we might have obsessive thoughts about uh, whether it is alcohol, drugs, pot, eating, shopping, uh, whatever it is that might take our attention away from what is our primary purpose in life, and that is to fulfill our utmost uh, potential. And so uh, these things, these promises, when they come after step nine, you know, when we've gone to our fellows, we've made amends, we've kind of done a thorough inventory of ourselves, and sometimes it's likened to an inventory that perhaps a store would do. What's, what's going to stay on the shelf? What's not staying on the shelf? what has been sitting there a long time and is no longer needed, and we kind of go through that process. But these promises are really something remarkable. A new freedom and a new happiness. I don't know about anybody else, but after the high holidays, when we've really done this work on our souls and ourselves, there is a sense of a new freedom and a new happiness. It's a new beginning that we all get to experience together. This is something we can have every single day will not regret the past nor wish to shut the door on it you know sometimes we all have things I, I don't want to speak for everybody but I can imagine we all have things that we look back and we say gosh you know I wish that would have gone this way or I wish it would have gone that way perhaps I could have handled it in a different way but the point is we don't have to carry around regret for things that have happened. We can look to this day, we can surrender it to our God, and we can move forward. When to know serenity and peace, this is the greatest blessing. This is in our priestly benediction, the Birkota Kohanim. May God bless you with the greatest gift, and that's the gift of peace. When we can have peace within ourselves, regardless of what's happening around us within this world, that is a gift beyond measure. We all know that the world right now is crazy. We are experiencing things that we have never experienced before. Regardless of which side of the aisle you sit, regardless of what your beliefs are, there is, a, there is an amount of anxiousness, despair, uh, 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 franticness, in the frenetic energy in the air. And we all need that peace. We need the ability to lay down in night, like it says in our Hashkivenu prayer. God, please let me lay down in your peace and let me wake up renewed, looking to do your will. Some of us, we've, we've, we just sang about this uh, when we did Ruth Bader Ginsburg's uh, memorial service the other day and that beautiful song, American Anthem. It says in there, for someone who doesn't believe they're not a hero, for someone who doesn't believe they don't have something to give, well, you do. Everybody has something to give because nobody is just like you. It's Reb remember Reb Nachman's prayer, the day that you were born is the day they threw away the mold. You are the one that lives this life exactly the way you do. No one like you has ever lived, and no one like you will ever live. You have supreme gifts and unique gifts that you can give to this world. You know, there's something very beautiful when it says we'll suddenly realize that God is doing for us what we could not do for ourselves. It doesn't mean that God is going to strike down this lightning bolt and make things happen. But what it does mean is that with God's presence and with the fact that we are seeking God in our conscious thoughts, we can have the ability to accomplish things that we never thought we could accomplish. We're, we're given the strength, we're given the courage, we're given the brave, the, 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 the uh, what's that word I'm looking for, the, the, it doesn't matter. It, we're given the ability to walk through any challenge that is placed before us because the problem before us is never as great as the power within us. 
So I hope that this little uh, introduction to the promises of AA and some little tidbits of information throughout our service has been able to give you an idea of what some of these programs are like. If by chance you know someone who might benefit from these, please send me a private message and we can uh, get that information to that person because really there is no reason in the world that anyone should have to live with any kind of addiction, especially in this day and age when there is so much recovery available. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. We're going to continue now with our Mishaberach prayer, with our prayers of healing. And I'd like to ask everybody to please uh, call to mind those who you would like to pray for on our list tonight. We have Barry Brett, Faith Rakow, Jacob Butsey, Alan Katz, Bernice Abramoff, Suzanne Meyer Fields, Anita Baruch, Susan Smith Donnell, and Sasha Bialik. Is there anybody else who has a name they would like to recite tonight for Misha Berach? Frank Davies and also the Lord Jonathan, Rabbi Lord Jonathan Sachs. Stephanie, I'm so sorry, Sivia, uh, pardon me, Stephanie. Um, I, I didn't hear about Lord Jonathan Sachs, what, Rabbi Sachs, what, what's happening? I don't know. I just saw it in an email from a different rabbi that I get emails from that there's something going on. Okay, thank you so much. Sivi, I'm sorry. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Sorry. Um, Gloria Honigbaum. Francie Marusis. Unfortunately, me, you. Let's all join together in our Mishaberach prayer. continue as Melissa leads us in Alenu. Alenu le shabayach la don ha kol la teit kidula liot sebreshit shalo asanu kigaye haratzot velo samanu ki mishpachot adama shalo sam chelkenu kahem vigor alenu kichol hamonam Va'anachnu korim, u'meshtachavim, u'modim, lipnei melech, 
מלאכי המלאכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא, יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו הוא, ושמו הוא, ושמו Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody tonight who, um, yeah, we can go back one, one slide there. Is that, uh, do we have an announcement slide maybe? Yeah, there we go. Uh, I want to thank everybody who participated tonight. If you read, if you sang, uh, Melissa, Linda, Ethan, thank you so much for lending your beautiful voices. And of course, everyone who read during our service, thank you so, so much. We have a meditation coming up on Tuesday night at 7. And next Friday, we're going to do Pet Shabbat. So we're going to bless our pets. And we're also going to remember uh, the pets that have gone over the Rainbow Bridge. If you haven't heard that poem, we'll recite it next week. It's quite beautiful. So if you have pets that you have lost that you'd like to recognize, send me a little email. I want to make a special slide for them. I know we all take our uh, pets as family, so let's, uh, let's do that in honor of them. Let's see, um, any more announcements? Uh, we're going into Cheshvan, which, uh, you know, there's no holidays in Cheshvan. We have, uh, of course, every seventh day Shabbat, and I'll look forward to celebrating with everyone. I want to thank Melissa for all her help with the PowerPoint and the things she does during the week on Facebook and Instagram, and um, and really very very grateful for that. Stephanie, right. can, yes. Can we say Kaddish? Oh yes, of course. We, we have that coming up now. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. I thought it was. No, no. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we'll 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 go forward here, and uh, we are. Uh, mourning the loss of Luisa Mosquera, she is the sister of Bernadette, who is the mother, the other mother of my daughter Gabby. That's her aunt who just passed away suddenly yesterday. Is anyone um, observing Shiva that would like to announce a name? Shiloshim, the 30 day period. We have Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Anybody for a yard site that is recognizing a yard site tonight, please. We will continue now with our Kaddish prayer. Yitkadal v'yit kadash shemei rabba v'yalma divra chirute v'yamlech malchute v'chay echon v'yom echon v'chay edekol beit Yisrael v'agala v'zman kari v'yamru Amen Yehi shemei rabba mevarach le'olam u'lamei al-maya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitbar v'yitramam v'yitnase v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei d'gudisha v'richu Le'ela min kol berchata v'shirata, tush bechata v'nechemata, da'amiran b'yalma v'yimru, amen. Yehei shalama rabba min shamaya, v'chayim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'yimru, amen. Ose shalom b'mrumav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'al kol yoshvei tevel v'yimru, amen. May the one who creates harmony on high, Bring peace to us, to all Israel, and all the world. And we all say, Amen. We're going to conclude with Adon Olam. This is a wonderful melody. It's a Sephardic melody. You'll catch on very, very quickly. It goes like this. Adon Olam Asher Malach V'terem Ko Yitzir Nira Late 
Thank you so much for these moments of Shabbat. Thank you for this amazing community, this cyber synagogue community. God bless each and every one of them with your loving presence. Embrace them with your healing like a blanket, a comfortable blanket that is familiar and cozy. God, we put our trust in you. And when we put our trust in you, we can walk through every day with less and less fear. Adonai oz le'amo yitain, Adonai yivarech et amo v'ashalom. God bless your people and give your people, people strength. Amen and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. So let's, uh, let's go to gallery view and say hello to everybody. Let's do some socializing. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to our Facebook friends. Say Bye bye, Facebook bye, friends. Everybody. Bye. <laughs> bye. Hello, Linda and Jay. Nice hi. to see you. Hello. Hi, is that Ivy? Ivy. Yes, it's Ivy. Yeah, that's me. Bye. Linda, hello. you were beautiful hi, today. Linda and Jay. Thank you. You know, I see uh, Janet Skolnick's phone uh, here. Janet, I just want to say hello. I was super happy to see you uh, log on. It was very, very nice. I don't know if you can hear me, but. I hope you can. Who wants to share something good? Who has a blessing to share? Stephanie? I just want to thank you for doing your 12-step thing tonight, um, especially in the times now. I think it's really important that we learn about one another. And the more we learn, the less judgmental we are, the more compassion we can have. And I think that's so necessary right now. Mm. Thank you so much. Well thank said. You. Well said. Yeah. I have a little story. Please. It has a little funny to it. Thank so you. So back when I was in Seattle, we went to a funeral for, for somebody who had died in our congregation, and her husband had been an alcoholic, and she was a member of Aldenon after, afterward and throughout. And Aldenon's like the support group for the spouses, I guess, right? Yes. Say that correctly. Anyways, so we go to the funeral, and the rabbi's there, and the rabbi afterwards says to me, who are all these people here? They're not Jewish, they're not that. And the woman kept, you know, the woman used to talk about the secret society she was a member of, <laughs> okay. not giving it out. So I told the rabbi it was the secret society. Well, what secret society? Elvinon, he said, oh, that explains it. Isn't that funny? Great, that's great. Thank you, you. Uh, I see Lynn and Stan. It's oh, hey. nice to see you. Always nice to see you. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. 
She's got me off here by the bridge. I see. I, it's not a bad place to be. Not no, a bad I guess place. not, except for the traffic. Yeah, no, the traffic's not good. No, Myron, but, nice to see thank, you. Thank you. I heard an interesting story, uh, lecture this week on Jewish women being the forerunners <laughs> of uh, women's rights. And Ellen Rose, you got to Google her. She uh, has had some life. But the women were behind that. It's called okay. Rachel. Very interesting. Excellent. Thank you for sharing that. Ellen Rose. Okay. Bella Abzug. Uh, who, who just said something? Bella Abzug. Okay. Okay. Yes. <laughs> who else? And who you know, else wants to share something? Yeah. yeah. How nice it was that I got to see and hear you like compare our Jewishness to those steps because you're right. You know, everything I read about the history in the AA way is always Christian. And now I'm like, oh, yeah, move over. Here we come. <laughs> and that was really nice. And you know that ACOA, I can identify. Those are my prayers, and I never really saw those steps. So thank you for introducing us to that. Yes, absolutely. You know, so many people um, don't realize that there is a program for people who grew up in dysfunctional families. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're – mother or father drank or did anything like that but perhaps there was some sort of dysfunction that affected you as a child and then ultimately affects us as adults so yeah absolutely um uh you know look into it google them in the privacy of your own home nobody has to know uh, or you can reach out to me i'm always happy to talk to you about it um absolutely no no worries no worries yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Rabbi, do, do, Rabbi, do call me, please. I will call you, Hugh. I promise. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got caught up in my friend's no, uh, no, I, I understand. Uh, sister. I understand. Yes. So I, I owe you a phone call. I know I do. Thank you. I have one other question about the pets. Are we? Do you want us to bring pictures of our pets, the ones that are alive or the ones that are dead? The ones that pass. How are we doing this? Ivy, I adore you. Okay, um, so we can. Um, you uh -oh. can set, if you want to send me, email me pictures. Oh, look at see, there's a doggy right there. If you want to email me pictures of your doggies, I will put them in the PowerPoint, or your cats, or your birds, or oh, your snakes. Fine. I mean, God knows, but. Um, you know, send me pictures of your pets, email them to me, and I, or text them to me, Facebook them to me, whatever, and I'll put them in the, in the PowerPoint. That could be really yeah. fun. We could have a good time with that. Yeah. So, yeah, I might, I might dress my doggies up. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. They usually just sleep during the service, but we'll see. We'll see. Zach is incredibly excited about Pet Shabbat, and I told him I would, I promised him I would ask you this question. Will there be an opportunity for us to do a gallery view so everybody can see everybody's animals? Because he wants to share our zoo with you guys. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, we yeah. We must. Okay. Good. Oh, we must. I'm we gonna... must, uh, you know, show off our pets. Yeah. I know that gonna... no. Should we send them to you, Melissa, since you do the PowerPoints? No, I create the PowerPoints. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. So, so send them to me. Really? Uh, Melissa is uh, my absolute help in running the PowerPoints, which, which I really couldn't do it without her. So thank you so much. Thank yeah, send them to me. I'll, I'll, ha I'll be happy to put them in there. Absolutely. At the rate I'm going, I may break your PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Marla, for you, there are special instructions. You can send me three pets. <laughs> I'm oh, kidding. I'm kidding. Like you can send me as many as you want, honey. Oh my God. As it's, many as you want. It's, as many as you want. It's Bruce, how are you doing down there? I didn't get to say hi to you. How you doing? How are you? Good. I like your shalom hat. It's really cool. I know. Got my shalom hat. Shalom. Oh, there it is. Hi, Bruce. Well, listen. I had a cool thing happen today. Jay, yeah, I'm sorry. I had a very cool thing happen to me today. I received a call from a friend that I haven't heard from in 24 years.